Good morning, everybody. Switch of Insurance Education with the four majors and update for the 28th of June 2013. Morning. Okay, let's have a look at the four majors this morning. Starting with Euro against US dollar using our FX Ultimate 8 template. So, without further ado, let's have a look at the Euro against US dollar on the daily. So, what happened yesterday? A bit of a spinning top, and that spinning top coming as price has entered or traded into, shorted into the actual monthly FIB retracement here in the, sh in the shape of the 38.2. Uh, you'll notice quite clearly that this bandwidth between the 23.6 here on my weekly to the uh, sorry the daily 23.6 to my weekly 38.2 mark here in red um, is very much a, a consolidative band. You can see price has pretty much been consolidating in this area. Once we've had a break to the upside, it's been moving quite nicely to the to the daily fibs, and vice versa. Once it's broken below this, it's moved quite nicely to the to the uh, fibs below. However, once it's traded within this band, it's been quite skittish. And you can see that we've had a lot of negativity for the euro against US dollar recently. And price has been moving uh, lower. Doing so, breaking through the, the daily fibs. We have the 61.8, the 50, and then the weekly fibs at the 38.2 and the 38.2 daily here. Quite a, must be a strong one. And then once it broke that very strong resistance into the 38 monthly. Now, if it trades below the 38 monthly, then it's looking very, very negative indeed. If we can find a bit of support through the 38 monthly, then we could see price actually pulling back towards the 38.2 on our weekly, which is roughly around the 31.26 mark. Uh, as, as you can quickly see here, the indicator box uh, not really showing us any true direction, and I think it's primarily because we're trading back in this consolidative range. Uh, we are sitting in this consolidative range, not really seeing any true direction. And if you see, it is 40 negative, don't get me wrong. But if it's if it stays within this consolidated band here, yeah, we're likely to see uh, price just consolidating, and we're likely to see any true settings. So ideally, if you have been selling, rather pull your stops are nice and tight, rather be quite aggressive with your with your risk management. Wait for confirmed break below the 38.2 here on the on the monthly here, and that would give us further indication we should be looking for a stronger negativity to the downside. Uh, at the moment now, price has been consolidative on the Asian session. Prices, uh, the euro was testing hard during the Asian session, and, that, and since the, the the next four hour candles in play now, we see consolidation. And you look at the four hour time frame before we we're trading above the institution. Now we're trading below the institution. This line up here in green, you can see quite clearly where it is. Price consolidating above and fighting support. However, near term breaking and closing lower. So now, if we see a breakout or break lower, consolidation, and then a continuation of the direction of trend. Ideally, I'd like it to be below the steady point here, the blue line. This horizontal line because that constitutes my monthly FIB retracement. But if it's trading below that, then it's very it's looking very negative indeed. Price has been negative, and that's connected because you're seeing lower swing, swing low, swing low, swing low. And price is now likely to be capped by the institutional moving average, which is on my four hour quite clearly here, roughly around the 13, 1300 mark. So give or take. So as long as price stays below the 1300 intraday, then we should be looking at that as a ceiling level. Use the 4-hour institutional moving average over here as your ceiling level intraday. It does give you a really good uh, gauge line. Uh, you can see the 4-hour candle that's in play right now is consolidated to the downside. RMO has moved below the zero line. MACD, however, is positive. So we don't have a correlation here at all. We'd like to see MACD obviously below the zero line if we are seeing negativity. But you can see quite clearly price has been consolidative in this range. So I feel if we get below 38.2, then we're going to see the MACD falling below the zero line again. And RMO should be below constitute that we're still very much in a negative trend so look for break and close lower than 30.2 look to see if there's any news out there today that's going to factor in price action movement if we look quite clearly what do we have today we've got on euro german consumer price index figures uh, we've got the we've just had the german retail sales figures which were positive uh expecting a 0.2 percent came out of 0.4 still down from the 2.7 percent that we had last so it is negative, but not as bad as they forecasted. Uh, we have a lot for German consumer uh, price indexes. And then a little bit this afternoon for the Canadian market as well as the US, uh, US dollar. So be aware of that. Take it on board. See if it's going to factor on price action and see what the outcome is. Sterling, here we get a lot of negativity recently against US dollar. You can quite clearly see here in particular. We can see that my monthly FIB retracement here at the 23.6, which is my blue line, price is trading below that, which is not a really good sign, a very negative sign indeed. 
and you can see it, it's trading below the 38.2 which is my these are my weekly the red lines my weekly fib retracements so as it stands saw selling yesterday into my uh, 23.6 on the weekly time frame and now we've had a consolidation bounce uh, at the close of the u.s session not much trading overnight on the asian session very uh, very small trading range a spinning top in particular look at this one over here there seems to be more negative sentiment and the r squared is complementing that movement within the the, the the intraday period so negative overall below the institution everything's looking set up the rmo and the, and the moving averages all looking pointing south so we should be looking for negative uh, trades so if we go to my four hour time frame then we go straight away i get a sell signal look at all the moving averages above uh, above price sex of resistance and most importantly institutions above price as well which is a good sign that we should be looking for negativity Swing lows dictates downside movement. We are consolidating now, so be patient. Wait for a four-hour candle close, and then ta tackle the 23.6, which is roughly around the 51812 mark below us. Get below that, then price is likely to really rally quite significantly or quite aggressively to our next pivot retracement level, which is a good 339 pips below, at just short of the 1478 mark. So as it stands for sterling, look for shorting opportunities in today. Look for a consolidation here. You can see quite clearly on the hourly bearish engulfing candle, last candle. As long as it maintains below this 23.6 here at 15385, we should be looking for negative uh, negative sentiment to, to follow through. US dollar Swiss franc. If the euro is falling lower, then you expect the US dollar to be rallying. And you can see quite clearly here, very much to the upside in favor. One or two areas where we're seeing red, but ultimately we're seeing buying sentiment recently after the us dollar has lost a little ground uh, over the past couple of weeks and in particular we've seen price trading above the weekly fib retracement here in the shape of the 50 percent and as it stands now it's likely to target back up towards my monthly fib here at the 23.6 which was the major resistance high that we saw recently price breaking above it but not failing to actually hold on to those levels and in doing so forming bearish engulfing candles or tweezer tops at this resistance and price reverted to the downside so now we're trading above it as long as you can maintain above the 50% retracement here ideally we should be looking for top side favoritism for the foreseeable future so look high for the us dollar swiss franc in terms of in, in terms of strength us dollar japanese yen the last pair of the day a lot of upside however all that being capped recently with the use of the us uh, with fed announcing tapering on a qe3 plan the US dollar has fallen aggressively recently, however, has since then um, consolidated as she headed into the monthly FIB retracement here in the shape of the 38.2 mark. Bouncing on that and heading up into my 23.6 on my uh, weekly and trading above it and now consolidating. And you can see over the past couple of days, finding support above the 23.6 and now kicking on up and using my intraday daily FIBs here as targets. Now, if she could spend time above the 50%, Daily FIB here, ultimately we should be targeting the, the 61.8 mark above us. And from where the FIB is, you're looking at 117 pips. So intraday, you can see the institution right now. If we get a four-hour candle close above this institution moving average here, but above, most importantly, the 50% retracement by daily, we should be looking at that monthly FIB retracement area above. And if we just take the institution moving average to that FIB area, the monthly FIB, you're still looking at 70 pips. So there's more than enough in the tank to the upside. Let's make sure that the 4-hour counter closes above the 50% on our daily though. As long as it spends time above here, the more likely price is going to build onto that. And as I mentioned, swing highs dictates upside. Swing high, swing high, swing high. And the US dollar is seeing a lot of fav uh, upside recently. So why not trade it? And if we can find a 4-hour counter close above the 50% here on our daily, target that 61.8 here at the 99950 mark or 100 mark for the foreseeable future that's it short and sweet guys please if you follow this this uh, if you are using this template please back it up with some money managers and most importantly follow the rules of the template keep it simple make sure you're well aware of your major support and resistance levels on your monthly weekly dailies etc and look to take profit when presented look at your news to see if there's anything that's going to factor in price action and then trade accordingly Otherwise, have a fantastic trading day and an even better weekend with family and friends. And I'll see you first thing on Monday morning. Until then, you guys trade serenely.